Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm, <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> ah. Give me, I'm recovering from a sickness. It's not COVID related, it's just a general cold. But I ran out of videos that I pre-recorded with Zen, so I have to actually make a video. So for today's video, I figured I'd talk about, since the anniversary is coming up, the GSSR that is coming with it, actually. Funny enough, a lot of people have been talking about the Castoria, me, basically. I mean, I, I assume everyone, everyone's waiting for Castoria, everyone knows this, but I think this is one of the very few GSSRs that no one's talking about. And I want to say just because of how much precedence uh, Castoria kind of has over the minds of everyone. But I'm going to go over them and tell you what's up with them, and that's going to be today's video. I hope you like it. <laughs> if you do, <laughs> leave a like, uh, comment, and you can subscribe to me. Ah, uh, damn. Alright, let's go. Uh, so this is the GSSR. The thing that's different is that it's, um, the things that are basically the same is that it's going to be limited to one summoning banner per, uh, um, it's going to be limited to one summon. Usually past years, it was, they did around anniversary is that they did one big old one and it had every unit basically that was, um, limited on it. <clears throat> They're doing something a little bit different here. There's actually groups of summoning banners, and they're all grouped by appearance of when they first showed up in the game. Um, <laughs> you're guaranteed to get at least one five star, obviously. And as always, the premium is 15 quarts, so if you're free to play, there's no way for you to summon on this. If you feel uncomfortable giving to a gotcha, then don't worry about it, man. You don't have to spend on it. It's okay. So let's go into it. So lucky bag number one, it has Okita, it has Bride Nero, it has uh, uh, Saber Shiki, it has Gilgamesh, it has Skahawk, it's got Brynhildr, it's got Iskandar, it's got Shuden, it's got Mysterious Heroine X, it's got Kintoki, it's got Mama Raiko, it's got uh, Shiro, it's got Edmund Dantes, and it's got Jolter. And then you can kind of see the, no, it's fine. God, fandom is such a terrible sight. Um, it has some four stars here that you can see right there. Uh, in terms of the lucky bag for the next one, we've got uh, King Arthur. We've got um, Musashi. We got uh, say uh, I was about to call her Summer. I think she's called Squirt Squirtoria, so I'm gonna go with that for right now. We got Ishtar. We got Old Man Moriarty. We've got Tamamo Lancer. Um, Ilya. Merlin, Da Vinci, Cleopatra, uh, the Old Man of the Mountain, aka Gramps, King Hassan, Mysterious Hero in X Alter, uh, Pickle Man, uh, Hijikata, Kiara, and Melt, and then some of the four stars that are included in this one, which are different from the other ones here. All these are basically the old ones. For this one, though, some interesting ones from here is, of course, Mo Summer. Probably one of the best uh, writer's arts units out there, especially for a four-star. It's insane how quickly you can uh, loop with her. You can loop with her now, with the units that you have now. It's kind of crazy. I think she's one of the very few units that can also just loop with herself if you have the right setup. So very good. So they do have some summer units in here, which is nice. They have the other summer units as well. And hey, even Lip is here. Hello, Lip. <clears throat> Next lucky bag, we've got uh, Sigurd, Erskargal, Summer, J uh, I don't want to call her Jol, that's not her name, Alter, Salter, there you go, that's the, what they called her, Ivan, Scott Hawk, Scotty, uh, Nero, uh, caster form, Semiramis, Sherlock Holmes, Okita Salter, so, uh, not Salter, I don't know why, oh my god, the sickness is messing with my head, Abby and Hook. Kokasai, I think is how you say it. Of course, we have, ooh, some actual... Fujino is a very good four-star. <laughs> Not to say you should only summon on this one for Fujino, but it is something to kind of keep in mind, especially with some of the other summer units. Not to say you're guaranteed her, but hey, it's better than nothing. She hasn't come back. She, she's not going to come back in a very long time. Next, <clears throat> next lucky bag, we've got Benny. We've got, not Jolter, Jean, regular Jean Archer. Jarcher, no, some Reigns, uh, Shikibu, Murasaki, Kama, Arjuna Alter, uh, the the Emperor, I forget, I forget their name, Demon King Nobunaga, BB Summer, uh, King Protia, and some four stars here, and then the final lucky bag, which is a Stealtho Saber, Sai, uh, Super Orion, Romulus Queerness. Um, 
Leonardo da Vinci writer, uh, Miyamoto Musashi Berserker, uh, Artoria ruler, Space Ishtar, Voyager, and Yang. <laughs> With, of course, the, the forces that you can expect with the summer units and some other ones as well, with the Dino Girl as well. So, this one is going to largely kind of depend on um, what units you have and which units you don't have, obviously. For this band, this for this lucky bag, the best one is obviously Kama and Arjuna Altar that we have right here. With the other ones being fairly good at what they accomplish and are various ways useful in some way this lucky bag is crazy because it has super orion and it has romulus and it has space ishtar and it has this i think this actually for the most bang for your buck if you don't have any of these units i think the worst unit is debatably maybe a stealpho and even then a stealpho is still pretty useful um same thing goes for actually yang is that i think actually maybe actually might actually be yang and i have yang at mp2 so i can say if she's bad or good or not might change with the uh, coming arts meta, of course, for me. Maybe she'll finally get more use for me. But anyway, obviously, Kama and Arjuna Altar are the big ones for this one. For this one, um, it's obviously Scotty. She's kind of the big go-to focus on this one. I would say Erish is probably Erish is Erish Kugel is probably not as good as she once was, but she's still a Rin face, and damn it, she deserves her own summer unit. Do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna die on this hill, but please release her summer version. <laughs> For this one, it's uh, the Squatoria. She's probably the best unit on. Actually, no. Merlin is still very good, even though people want him to get buffed, even though I don't think he, do he needs a buff. He is not the top guy that he once was, especially on the JP side with the new Buster meta units, but he's still very good at what he does. He's still very good defensive and stuff like that. So it'd probably be him and Squatoria here. And then for the very first one, it is, uh, I really like Bright Nero, and I, I really like uh, Skahawk, but I think the best one is, uh, is probably Gilgamesh, just because it's Gilgamesh. The rest of these are probably a little bit old, in a certain sense, and need a little bit more buffs. I would say Bright Nero is probably the one that, I use Bright Nero the most here, because she's the one I have the most. Um, but she's very solid for a uh, M for MP generation and being kind of a pseudo support while also being able to single target destroy anything if you uh, plan your team right and depending on some stuff but anyway yeah uh, in terms of which one of these I'm probably going to be summoning on I think I'm going to be summoning on this one because I think this one has the most chance for the bang for my book if I miss the worst I can get here is NP3 Yang <coughs> Or NP2 Yang, I forget which one I have on her. And maybe Ostelvo. But the chances of getting an MP2 Super Orion is insane. The chances of getting Romulus are insane. I wouldn't mind another dupe for Psy. Getting her is extremely good. Same thing, especially these two with Arts Metas in mind are insanely good. I like uh, Arturia Ruler. She just needs a little bit more damage and she's already MP2 for me. So MP3 might help a little bit mitigate some of the damage stuff. Space Ishtar is very good and Voyager is very good and I already have him though. So that's the only bummer is that I would want him to be... <clears throat> Basically from the wants here, the big wants would be Romulus and Leonardo. And the rest of them I'm kind of okay with to a various degrees. Kind of like, oh he's new at least or at least they're stronger now. And also, from the four stars at least, it would give me another chance to get Okita, Summer, and Dino Mama. <clears throat> so it's something to keep in mind. If it's not for that one, the next one I would probably summon on is... Maybe the Merlin one. Actually, I wouldn't summon on this one for various reasons. One, <coughs> my Squatoria is MP5. And I'm not about to get np6 of the gssr and also this has this asshole which is columbus and i don't like columbus at all so this one's an automatic no summon for me dog and this one i think is just a little bit too old though i'm missing some of these um i really like dantes but quick meta is about to kind of go out i really like raiko i would really like raiko actually same thing goes for kentoki <laughs> But I feel like I would better have my chances of getting them in uh, random banners down the line. Gilgamesh is very strong, but I don't really like Gilgamesh that much. Jolter needs buffs. Brunhilda is fine. 
it doesn't really stand out as far as I'm aware of. I really like Iskandar, but I already have Iskandar. Shooting already have. Mysterious Heroin X, I think I already have. So it's kind of looking at these and kind of going like, eh, which one of these actually fits the best for me? And I think it's the one with the most newest units for me is the one I'm going to go with. So for you, you're going to have to make a decision on this one. I think there's a uh, justification for each of them. It's going to kind of depend on your box. But if you're someone going in with absolutely no units whatsoever, I would say this one is the best one for you if you're going to pick something. Just because Super Orion is just so dumb. So dumb good, man. I I don't have a Merlin. I can't even take advantage of his um, Buster uh, Gorilla-ness. And I still <clears throat> am able to win with him few pure force of his own NP is that strong. He's that stupid good. I've so far not run into a single... Like I said, my Scortoria is MP5, and I have art stuff to buff her, and she still does the most insane damage, but he's a close second <coughs> by pure factor of his stupid big crits, so... Something to keep in mind. But yeah, feel free to tell me what you plan to summon on, and if you're skipping it, I wish you the best of luck in getting, uh, staying free to play and getting your, the units exactly when they come out. Uh, 15 quarts isn't, oh my god, I fucking hate you so much, fandom. Uh, 15 quarts isn't too bad, but of course, especially with the way times are now, it's, it's a lot of money to ask for, especially for something so frivolous when things are so expensive now, so. Anyway, that's the end of the video, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna go... <laughs> try and get better. Till next time, everyone. Goodbye.